I am really excited for Halo Infinite. Despite some of the things we saw in the gameplay reveal that were less than exciting, they were really bland to be honest. When I saw Master Chief get out from the Pelican and explore this sacred, mysterious, holy Halo ring, I saw Halo Combat Evolved, Halo Reach, Halo 3, ODST, Halo Wars, Halo 5. I saw Halo in its purest form. Halo Infinite is basically all of the previous Halo games fused into one, taking mechanics from the past games while still innovating in certain areas of the franchise. The game looks extremely fun and that's the only thing that should matter. But I guess that there's certain people in the internet that think otherwise and they will say and do everything to bring Halo down saying that Halo literally stole ideas from other games and made it its own, like an open world map, different objectives, the addition of a grapple hook, enemy design, sandbox design, and the overall feel of the game. They are saying that Halo Infinite, 343 Industries, stole ideas from, and I am laughing while saying this, games like Far Cry, Destiny, and Doom Eternal. And oh boy, do I have something to say about that. Leaving Destiny and Far Cry aside, as you guys know, Doom Eternal is the bread and butter of my channel. I have made hundreds of videos talking about and exploring the lore and mechanics of the game. I know Doom Eternal in and out like if it was the backhand of my palm. Is that how you say? I don't know. And let me tell you, in no way, shape or form did Halo steal from Doom Eternal. No way, Jose, te mamaste. I get it, Halo Infinite and Doom Eternal share a lot of similarities. They both share the same type of naming scheme. They both have a very big, powerful green man that can solo an entire army of Xenos. They both have a grapple hook, a similar destructible demon slash alien mechanic, and they both share the same phenomenal voice actor that is Doreen DePaul. There are a lot of people comparing Halo Infinite to Doom Eternal. How Halo Infinite is the washed up Walmart version of Doom Eternal, and how Halo tries to copy Doom Eternal to succeed, which is a baseless accusation. When I saw Infinite's gameplay for the first time, I was really excited. There was a rumor, thanks to this render of Halo Infinite, that Chief was going to have access to a grapple hook in the game, and that made me even more excited. Despite what you think about enhanced movement in a Halo game, the addition of a grapple hook in any game will always be welcomed, for the sole reason that it increases the fun factor of the game by a lot. So, there I am watching the Halo Infinite reveal on Discord with my friends, and I finally see Master Chief using the grapple hook to close the distance against the Craig the Brute. I was really surprised and amazed, and I began thinking about the endless possibilities that we as a player should be able to do with the grapple hook in a world this big, like using the grapple hook a certain way to reach a spot that was not reachable before, to either get a tactical advantage on enemy soldiers, or something as simple as exploring your surroundings to get skulls or easter eggs. But yes, I must confess that when I saw the grapple hook in action, my first thoughts were, oh, that's just like Doom Eternal. That That's just uh, the recent events of Doom influencing over my thought process. Apparently, and quoting directly from 343, if you see a mountain on the horizon, you can go there and explore it. This plus the grapple hook gadget will give a lot of value on exploring the sandbox, the map, the halo ring. The addition of the grapple hook in Halo Infinite is not bad, it doesn't break the game and it is not something that Halo stole from Doom. Halo Infinite began development before Doom 2016 came out, and even if 343 saw the mid hook in Doom and decided to add its own into Halo, that's just 343 referencing the influence of Doom into that decision. Doom Eternal was not the first game that introduced the grapple hook into gaming. There are countless franchises that 
have a grapple hook as an in-game mechanic, as an in-game gadget. But hey, I guess that hating Halo is popular, so let me pull arguments out of my booty to make Halo look bad. If we follow that same logic, then Doom Eternal stole from Just Cause, and Just Cause stole from Titanfall, and Titanfall stole from Tenchu, and Tenchu stole from Scorpion. Hell, everyone stole from everybody at this point. There are countless games that take ideas from other games and reimagine them in their own way. Dead Space was supposed to be a System Shock game, but it ended up being Resident Evil 4 in space, with a buttload of monsters. And that's good. Doom was supposed to be an alien game, but it ended up being Demons and Doom. That's amazing. It is completely fine to reference other games into your art, into your game, into your movie. Hell, if we're talking about references, every time if Hugo Martin, the game director of Doom Eternal, gets the chance to talk about references in Doom, he's always going to compare Doom Eternal to Evil Dead 2. Because Doom Eternal is basically Evil Dead 2. He's always going to do it. God. Damn it, Ugo. <laughs> oh, but Midnight, Halo Infinite has the exact same destructible armor slash flesh mechanics that we see in Doom Eternal. 343 must be out of ideas if they are trying this hard to be futuristic Doom Eternal. <laughs> Despite some of the issues with the graphics and global illumination of that Halo Infinite demo build, which has been confirmed to be a build, an older build of the game that was from January, the game was built off of the Sleep Space engine, which is 343's new game engine made specifically for Halo Infinite, having perks like dynamic lighting, which changes and renders the lighting of the game in real time, and also giving the ability to apparently alter the surface area or textures of the armor that is on top of the character model. Yes, that doesn't sound so neat and new, because it's not new. Halo has been doing that for years, and if I remember correctly, they firstly used this technique in Halo 3, with the armor helmet of the Brutes as well. Doom Eternal, with its it 7 engine, does this a lot better. It's a fact. Because in Eternal, you are quite frankly changing the appearance of the character model in an infinite amount of ways all rendered in real time, with multiple character models experiencing the same thing, all rendered in real time at the same time. Still, in no way shape or form is 343 stealing the secret techniques that its software applied into Doom Eternal. Basically that black magic with the destructible demon mechanic, they are not stealing it. There are countless other game developers that do the same thing. Of course, I think Doom Eternal makes it made, made it better because it is extremely detailed, but still, they all do it. Halo is not stealing from Doom. It really amazes me how some people will try to bring something down just to make themselves, or Doom Eternal in this case, look better or shine the brightest. It is undeniable that the Halo community has been in a really toxic environment the last couple of years. 343 can basically just take a deep breath and a thousand Halo fans will start attacking 343 on how them taking a deep breath is a sign of how hard they find managing the Halo franchise. It is extremely sad and disheartening because it happened to me Seeing Halo peers like Uber Nick, Hidden Xperia, The Act Man, Look the Notable, Proximity, etc., being called sellouts and 343 shields just because they focus in the positives instead of the negatives. In conclusion, 343 did not steal from other games to build off Halo Infinite, especially not from Doom Eternal and its software. That is a baseless accusation. One that makes me laugh of that. <laughs> Neta se mamaron. And that Halo Infinite gameplay reveal felt and looked like Halo in my eyes. I cannot wait to play it. It's going to be fun as fuck.